This year, TEDx celebrates its fifth birthday. Many of you in this room already know that TEDx is a TED initiative that provides a free license to any individual anywhere in the world to produce a TED-like event in their own community. And it turns out that TEDx itself is an idea worth spreading. In just five years, over 10,000 events took place in 160 countries and nearly 2,500 cities. That means that today and every day, an average of 10 TEDx events are taking place somewhere in the world. TEDx audiences get together in theaters, in public places, in schools, and in universities, in libraries, in the workplace, and even inside of prisons. Talks from TEDx have helped us build a massive digital library of ideas. 50,000 talks in 60 languages that have been viewed over 300 million times by curious minds around the globe. So, as you can see, TEDx is truly a global phenomena at incredible scale and incredible speed. But it is first and foremost about local communities. TEDx organizers from around the world take the spirit of TED, infuse it with a whole lot of local flavor, put their own personality into it, and it's that combination that makes TEDx events special. I'm going to show you just a few examples, and in honor of our theme, I'm going to keep it right here in the South. And let's start in Brazil. When the UN Conference on Sustainability came to this city in 2012, a group of TEDx organizers put together TEDx Plus 20, which was a conference designed to look at sustainability from a uniquely Brazilian lens. Over in Sao Paulo, organizer Elena Crescia is passionate about equal opportunity for women. She ensures that her speaker lineup, as well as the organizing committee, are at least 50% women 100% of the time. And over in Nicaragua, TEDx Managua created a program where they give free tickets to school students who complete eight hours of community service. This program became so popular. How adorable are these kids, by the way? The program became so popular that the organizers had to build a special online tool to facilitate the exchange between the students, the schools, and the TEDx organizers. And then they opened up this tool and made it available to other organizers and to other nonprofits. Over in Colombia, organizer Felipe Aspath is taking TEDx events to rural areas. He invites farmers to his events via cloth billboards. He curates talks about topics of daily life, like seed sharing and craft production. And in Paraguay, the organizers of TEDx Asuncion's are committed to public access. Their event is taking place on a closed university campus. But what they do is they put giant screens in town squares, and they open up their event to the entire public for free. And last but not least, in Argentina, TEDx Rio de la Plata is one of our largest events. Just last week, more than 10,000 people gathered in this theater, and the organizers there are passionate about education. They take their best talks and they convert them into online courses. And through a partnership with local schools, these are being used in schools to teach students about topics in arts, technology, and science. And these are just five examples. There are 5,000 of them, but our time is very short. If you'd like to learn more about the very local flavor of our truly global community, there's no better way than meeting a TEDx organizer. And in fact, there are 150 of them in this conference. Many of them are sitting in this room. So in closing, I'd like to ask all the TEDx organizers to please stand up. Yeah. 
So on behalf of, uh, on behalf of all of us at TED, thank you all for your boundless energy and absolute commitment to ideas worth spreading. We really appreciate the positive impact you're all making. Thank you very much for your attention.